All right, so I'm Uncle Greg, um, TJ's brother-in-law, and probably since the day I met him, our relationship has just been uh, funny. Uh, we just make fun of each other, uh, usually inappropriate, uh, always inappropriate, actually. So everything from, you know, TJ thinking a photo of me was funny to making not one coffee mug, but hundreds of coffee mugs of me when I was young with no shirt on that are all over the house. We go to Aruba, I don't know what year that was, we went to Aruba, um, with the whole family, both our families, and you know, as TJ meets everybody during the day, he's making friends. So as we meet people, as we go out at night, just me and TJ, he's always snickering when he's introducing me to people. Right? And everybody's kind of looking at me a little weird. So during the day, TJ would tell everybody he was on vacation with his homosexual brother. <laughs> right. So as people met me at night, they'd be like, hey, you're TJ's brother, Greg. I'm like, yeah, yeah, what's going on? Like, I'm here with my family. They're like, sure you are, sure you are. Yeah. That's probably the most appropriate story I can tell you about. The rest I can tell. Oh, that was great. <laughs> Hello, James Stanley, and uh, I'm at St. Elizabeth's. So TJ and I first met back in late 2001, early 2002. I was at a digital ad agency. He was the sales rep from Lycos at the time. He would come in and light up our agency floor all the time. He was on fire, making everyone laugh, having a great time. I think he even came in a costume once or twice. Always a good time, though. But funny stories I wanted to share. One, um, so I was just in Dad's Night, my first Dad's Night ever. TJ pulled me in, uh, and I said, I'm not really that talented. I don't have a lot to offer. And he, he said something like, even better. <laughs> so nonetheless, I got it sucked into four skits, and it was a blast. We had a great time. And, and his direction and passion for that was so incredible. Um, it was just intoxicating for that. Um, but another fun story that just highlights his love for Mora and, and family and all that. We were coming home from a happy hour. Um, I was, for, my family grew up in Wyckoff, so I was coming back with him. And I was still in the city, I believe, but came back home and, uh, I don't know, it was 12.30, 1 in the morning, I'm not sure. And he's like, you gotta meet Mora, you gotta meet Mora. They had just moved into Wyckoff. I believe you were pregnant at the time, I'm not sure. But so he drags me into the house, goes upstairs, turns the lights on, and more, you gotta meet James Stanley. James Stanley, here she is. So poor Mora. I'm sorry, I'm sorry, but it was a pleasure to meet you at the time. I just hope we can all take away, you know, the love, the connections, and the friendship, and, and you know, also TJ's passion for community and everything. So cheers to TJ. Love you, brother. Well said, everybody. Put your hands together. <laughs>